instructions and then pushing them. So I'm pushing them inside. So we have our fishing line here. Okay, I'm going to open the fishing line. Um, it's about uh, 0 0.80 millimeters fishing line. So I'm going to open it to about 20 inches of length. Okay. Then you snap it, cut it with a uh, nail cutter. Then you begin with the basic red colors. So we have there, they look very beautiful as you can see. So we're going to start with the eight pieces. So once you've crisscrossed and you have your eight basic uh, beads, you continue. Now we add um, one red bead on the right, one red bead on the left, and then we put uh, two white beads on the right hand, like that. And then this one, and then you crisscross here, and the red one, like that. Then you pull. You should have something that looks like that. Okay. Then you proceed. You pick um, two white beads on this uh, right hand. One, two. And then you add one red bead, the final red bead, like that. Then you crisscross on the red bead there, then you pull. You should have like something like this. So remember we are making the base. So you continue until you are done making this circle. So you pass the fishing line there, like that. I hope you can see this beads are very beautiful as you can see. Okay. So we proceed, you pick two um, white beads, circular beads, two, and then you pick one white bead for the finish, then you crisscross like that. Should have something that looks like this, okay. You proceed, pass the fishing line there. Oh, sorry, here that's a mistake. We're supposed to put a red bead, okay? So, you're supposed to come to check your work all the time so that you do not make uh, mistakes. Uh, but, mistakes are a normal thing, it's a uh, the key thing is to make sure that you spot them early enough to correct them, okay? Then you pass the fishing line through the next uh, red bead there. And then you pick two white beads and one final red bead there. And then you finish it up like that. So, should have something that looks like this. Then you proceed. You pass the fishing line through the next 
red bead there. I'm gonna pick two uh, white beads and then pick one red bead like that and then you crisscross that and then you go should have something that looks like this and then you pass through the next um, red bead there and then you pick two white beads then you pick one final red bead and then you crisscross like that and then you pull like that then you pass the fishing line through the next uh, red bead there and then you pick two white beads again and one final red bead and then you pick red bead crisscross like that so as you can see we are almost done with the base um so we add that red bead there and then we pass the fishing line there and then we add the two beads final beads and then crisscross like that so you should have something like this for the base okay the base should look like this it should be firm so make sure you Tighten it as you continue, okay? So this is end of step two. You should have something like this. Step one was making this inner circle, which has got eight beads. And now step two is what we've done now, where we've added the next layer. So now we are going to proceed on to step three. Okay, so we are continuing so as you had seen my fishing line is over so i'm going to add more fishing line uh, from any point and then now we are going to be adding um three beads three red beads precisely three red beads so one two three then the third one we crisscross like that should have something that looks like this and then on to the next so we're proceeding Just the same thing, repeating it over and over again. Um, most of you have been requesting for this long format videos. So this is why I'm doing the long format video. So I really hope you learned something from this today. And if you like this, kindly don't forget to leave a like down below so that um, more people can get to see this. You can also share with other people so in beadwork also really need to be patient so as you can see it's one bead at a time step by step as you proceed
So in this part you're going to put five beads down like that and then next you're going to put six beads so a total of six beads in the circle okay so and you know that it's uh, so that you can be able to make the curve at the top okay 
so now here we have five yeah so the next one will have six so we already have three so we're going to add three more one two three okay then you put the final one there that and you put <laughs> so you should have five and six and then next you're going to go to five okay a total of five beads in the circle so they're going to be alternating until you get to the end okay so here we are putting five so this is three so we add two one two should have something like this and it's also begun to curve already okay so you repeat the same thing over and over again until you get to the very end of this circle just make sure to uh, tighten up your work so that it's tight and firm uh, so this one was five so the next one is going to be six so Kindly note that when you get to this point, you have some alternating circles so that at the end of the day, you will have a curve. That is done to achieve um, a curve. As you can see, I think when you're making it, you're going to be able to uh, see it more prominently. Okay, but if you observe, I think by the end, you'll be able to see. Okay, so kindly note that. So we're going to repeat the same until the very end, okay? Now I see I think you can see the curve. That curve comes because of um, alternating the beads, the five beads and the six beads. Uh, now you can see that curve it's quite beautiful as you can see there um, almost done uh, doing this circle so that trick will help you make that curve there so remember it's a flower vase um, it has to have those curves okay so that's how we achieve that curve okay guys We proceed. So as you can see, we have approached the last circle. So here it's six, and then we have five, and then the final one will have six. So they will uh, match. As 
see uh, wait and see so you pass the fishing line there yeah okay. and then now we have to put them to a total of six so just make sure also that your work is very tight so that you can have a firm and sturdy uh, final piece so with the curve you can see it there looks very beautiful in person so you can also uh, reach out to me if you would want to get your own piece uh, my contact details will be down in the description below So as you can see, the curve has formed. It really looks pretty uh, in person. So now we are going to continue. As you can see here, we pass the fishing line through uh, these three beads here, one, two, three. And then now we are going to introduce um, a circle that consists of seven uh, beads. And that circle is going to have um, the first bead you're going to add is one white bead and a second white bead and then we're going to put um, two red beads that makes a total of seven beads as you can see these are four and we already have three at the bottom so once you crisscross like that you should have something that um, looks like this also this curve is becoming more um, vivid and it will bring out that uh, perfect uh, kind of hourglass shape so kindly stick on and uh, follow the as I do and you'll be able to come out with your own beautiful verse uh, we continue past the fishing line through the next uh, three beads at the bottom like that like that and then now you repeat the same okay so here we are going to put one red bead and two white beads like that so we have a total of seven four plus three is seven okay so those are the key things that you're supposed to um, remember so kindly follow as I do uh until you're done you can see it's becoming uh, more and better and even more beautiful with this step okay
2,000 years later. to the final bit which is slightly tricky we are going to use just one head here and then we come we pick um, these are a total of five beads so I pick one red uh, three white okay and um, finally one red one and then we crisscross on the final red bead like this and then you pull so once you do that um, it starts forming sort of like this curve that you see there so this will be the top end which will have these curves to add to its beauty it's uh the verse is slightly heavy it's um it's uh it's quite beautiful to make something just one bead by one bead until it becomes this heavy so make sure you enjoy the process so next we're going to add three white beads okay three white beads and one uh, red bead there then we crisscross on that red bead like that and then you pull like that and then you Pass the fishing line next there so the wave there is a wave that will start forming which is okay then you add three white beads and one final red bead to make a total of six in each circle as you continue okay so you repeat the same thing over and over again until you're done this whole circle is done just the same thing so as you can see here it's starting to form a wave okay so let's continue that's how it should look if we do it correctly with the waves look amazing honestly Just go up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay. Just put it next to one bead. Like that. I hope you can see those waves. They look quite pretty.
So you come to the part where you have the circles with six beads, okay? Um, then you pass your fishing line there, your thin fishing line, approximately 0 0.3 size. And then we start using these leaves that were provided in the pack. So you put um, two leaves there and then you pass the fishing line onto the next bead here onto that circle remember the circle with six beads so you pass it like that just straight and um, you pick another two leaves and then you put so these are just decorations but if you're using a different type of beads it's not a must for you to have this um, decorations so your product is already good to go uh, so for me i'm going to add this beautiful leaves that were provided and then you'll see the end product so kindly stay tuned um it's just a simple thing the centerpiece okay so stay tuned and you'll see the final thing so that's the flower and then we add this top bit I don't know. 